Hello everyone, so today I'll be doing the luxury rose tag and this tag is done by Sophie. Thank you so much Sophie for creating this tag and let's get started. So in front of me I have my computer so I'll be looking down to see what are the bags that I regard as overpriced or very ugly. So let's get started. The first one uh, is not in order by the way. If they're mentioned that means I think they're overpriced or overexposed or ugly. So please don't get offended by these choices because they're just my personal ooh, hoo, hoo, because they're just my personal opinion and I really don't want to offend anyone. So the first one is the Fendi Bag Bugs Backpack. Initially when I saw it, it's not that bad, but there's just so many like fake Fendi bags out there. There's so many of them on Taobao or other fake bags website and it's like so overexposed. I feel like every single rich college student has one. It's just too overexposed. Like when I first saw it, it's like okay, but it's been around for a while now and I see it everywhere and I see too many fake ones that it it seems really disgusting to me. I do like their actual bag charm, like the bugs bag charm. I feel like a small area of the monster face is okay, but something as big as a backpack, I feel like it's a little childish and it's a little too much. Personally, I don't like it. I don't think I'll ever get anything like that. Um, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. And I know a lot of people are into the Fendi backpack as like their signature thing, but I'm just not into it personally and I think it's so overpriced. I'm on Farfetch right now and it's almost $2,000, like $19.50 without tags. The next one, it's nothing like specific, but I never liked the Gucci logo for some reason. And when I was really little, I keep mixing up like Gucci, Coach, I thought they were like the same thing because it's like tiny circles and I just never liked it. So the second pick would be anything with like a bunch of Gucci monogram and you might think oh she's into Louis Vuitton how come she's not into Gucci I don't know why even though Louis Vuitton has monogram to me it looks a lot better than Gucci I don't know why and I know that Gucci's like a high-end brand too but I'm just not into it so any like old style Gucci bag with like the monogram logo all over it with like the green and red stripe decoration I just can't take like it it looks like an old person's bag and I don't I don't say this usually because I feel like it's not right to label bags like that but that's seriously what Gucci gives me it just does not look expensive to me it just it just doesn't look good and also my mom had a Gucci like little tiny bag and hers ripped for some reason so I feel like the quality of this uh, brand or like of their of their canvas is really bad and I just I just don't like Gucci uh, I don't like the older designs of Gucci. Sure, the newer ones are like modern and they look good, but the older ones, I just, I can't take. Okay, this one is, I feel like I'll get a ton of hate, but I really don't like the Hermes Constance bag. I know some people are like in love with it. They think it's like a little cute um, Hermes bag. It's like one of the only smaller Hermes bags that Hermes offers, but I really don't like the Constance. If you give me a Constance bag for free, sure, I'll take it, but I am not going to spend $8,000, which is like the price on the real real, uh, for a Constance bag. And I feel like it's just like the Birkin, the Kelly, I really think they're super beautiful. But the Constance bag, I feel like it's just so expensive because it's from Hermes. And it's not that practical because it's just like a small bag with a huge H on it. And I feel like the huge H hardware is tacky in my opinion. It like screams out the brand. Like for the for the Kelly and for the Birkin bags, sure they're iconic designs, but the logo, the actual logo is really small and that I really like. But for the Constance bag, it's just like a big fat H on it and I really don't like it. For a belt, it's okay. For a bag, I think it's like way too big. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate from this, but um, yeah, I don't like the Constance bag. Or I'm not gonna pay so much money for a Constance bag as of right now. I might change my mind later, but who knows. So this is called the Valentino Rockstead Quilted Leather Crossbody Bag. I think it looks really ugly. <laughs> just looking at all the little studs, it just, uh, is it called like trypophobia? Yeah, it gives me that. And uh, it just doesn't look good. It looks like a freaking back of a chair. It just doesn't look expensive. And how much are they selling it? $13.95, almost $1,400. No, I'm not gonna pay this much money for like this tiny little bag that looks 
pretty ugly in my opinion. Okay, this is really funny because if you watch my channel, you will know that I'm pretty into Louis Vuitton bags, but this the Trans Siberian bag with fur all over it. I just can't. I just can't take. It just looks so busy, like way too busy. It has like this little like crystal charm, or not even little. This large crystal charm in the middle, and it's like full of fur. It just looks like a man that hasn't shaved for three months. Like I just, I can't take it. And I guess people use it for like special occasions or when it's like really cold out so it keeps your stuff warm I, I don't even know like I would personally never buy something like that and also it's like super expensive the retail price on Yugi's closet is 4750 which is crazy yeah I'd rather get like two Neverfulls than one of this so yeah I, I can't take this one the next one is not like a super high-end brand, I don't think. It's called like JW Anderson. I recently saw their bags in one of those like WeChat official account stuff. And some people think it's really cute with like the low nostril like two holes with the ring in the middle. But in my opinion, I think it looks really ugly. I don't know how people fall in love with that. I think it looks childish. It looks ugly. It just does not look elegant at all. And I feel like for something like kind of pricey like I would pay like $20 for this honestly but like anywhere above that I feel like I don't want to pay this amount of money for a playful bag let's just put it that way if H&M has this kind of design maybe I'll get it but like with this price and this design I would not spend that kind of money on this and I feel like it's overpriced the Balenciaga version of the Ikea's blue tote bag they're selling it for 2145 and it seriously just looks like the Ikea bag I don't know how they came up with this design but it just does not look good I feel like for like designer or luxury bags I prefer it if it actually looks like it's priced like if it actually looks expensive for this kind of bag honestly I wouldn't even pay 20 bucks for it. I'd probably just get the Ikea version because this just looks really tacky, really ugly. No matter what outfit you pair with it, it's just not going to look expensive or elegant. It's not going to look $2,145. And I don't know who would buy it. Maybe people with too much money to spend or people who want to pay $2,000 something dollars for like a super casual looking bag. Some people are into that. I'm not. Um, if I were to pay two thousand something dollars for a bag, I want the bag to look at least two thousand something dollars, and that's just my personal preference. Is it called a Louis Vuitton tribute patchwork bag? This is limited edition, super super expensive. It just it just doesn't look good. This is the type of bag that even if you gift it to me, I might not be happy because it just looks really tacky in my opinion. It just looks like a bunch of bags put together, which is literally what it is, and uh, I don't know. It just it just doesn't look good. Like it looks like you have leftover material from each bag, and you just kind of like put them together on like a messy tabletop, and yeah, it doesn't look good. I don't think I can pull it off. I feel like you can only pull it off if you're like Rihanna and you're like a celebrity and you look good with anything, and yeah, because that's like the only circumstance that I can think of. Why would a normal person or like an average person wear this bag? I just I just can't imagine and I feel like if you spot someone on the streets wearing this you'll probably if you don't know anything about this bag you'll probably assume it's a fake bag because this just looks really tacky in my opinion. Maybe the designer put a lot of thought into it but I just don't like it and it's overpriced and yeah I don't like it. So this is the Hermes Ombre Lizard Birkin this is the kind of design that gives me trypophobia. Even if you gift it to me, I would say no. I don't think I can pull it off. There are obviously people in the world that love this design and it's like super expensive too, but I can't pull it off and I just can't take this design. So this is my ninth choice. The tenth, okay, I actually struggled a bit with this because I used to like this bag a lot. It's a Chanel medium boy bag, or not medium, just Chanel boy bag in general. I used to really want one, like once upon a time. When when it first came out, I think, when I saw it everywhere on Instagram and it seems like every blogger has one and they make it look so good and it's just like such a classy design and how it transformed from a seasonal piece into one of Chanel's classic pieces. This is another item that I feel like it's overexposed. I would love, love, love 
to have this bag if it weren't for the price of like five thousand something dollars for a brand new bag i just i feel like it's way 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 too overpriced i don't think i'd even get it if it's three thousand dollars sure i once really wanted this i remember watching youtube videos on the boy bag and i was lusting over it please give me like five thousand dollars so i can buy this or i was actually looking uh for secondhand boy bags too because i once really wanted one but the price is ridiculous price is so freaking ridiculous and it's really overexposed too there's like so many fake boy bags everywhere especially on taobao and I'm not sure if they have it anymore because I heard they did something about uh, fake bags on Taobao but the last time I checked there's still a lot of like similar designs uh, boy bags and I see them everywhere in the streets of Shanghai and so they're so overexposed that it really cheapens the feeling everything together makes me not want to get this bag and sure like I would be so happy if someone gives this to me for free or like for a really cheap price but I personally would not pay retail for this bag and not even four thousand dollars that a lot of secondhand online retailers sell it for alright so that's it for my 10 bags or 10 ugly bags that I would not pay retail for or whatever you call that I know some of these bags are like super popular and of course they have a fan base or else these stores or these brands would not even sell them but these are just my personal opinion I hope that no one gets offended or even if you do just like don't uh, <laughs> don't be a hater don't swear in the comments section don't do personal attacks yeah anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I would like to know your top 10 picks for ugly bags uh, ugly designer bags designer or not I don't care I just I just want to see like whether or not you agree with my choices or whether or not you have more uh, like other bag choices that you regard as ugly and overpriced. If you're a YouTuber, please comment down below if you did the tag. I would love to watch it and I'm always curious. These are always fun to watch. I want to know like what you think of as ugly or what you think of as overpriced. So if you're a YouTuber, please comment down below without the link because YouTube blocks out uh, any comment with the link. So without the link, just comment down below and uh, tell me that you've done the tag because I want to watch it. Thank you so much and see you guys next time. Bye!